Good morning, Bahamas. Good morning, world. We're here with Captain Arnold Green, better known as Shine, the man behind this product. Captain Shine, so you want to say good morning to the Bahamas and the world? Good morning, Bahamas. Good morning, world. All right, you want to tell us a little bit about this product that you have here, the sponge, okay. and why you decided to uh, venture into this business? Well, with these sponges now, you know, COVID cost the Bahamas, the, the tourists, the fishing industry is slow. So I have to do something. I ever was a sponger, you know. This area I went into for these sponges, I went here two, two and a half years ago and cut the sponges. And this is the result of cutting the sponges two and a half years now. You got six inches, eight inches, 10 inches. All of these sponges here come from the area I went two years ago and cut. Okay, folks, um, what Captain Green is saying here is um, that these, he harvested, harvested sponge and on the same sponge bed two years ago. And if you look at these sponge closely, he's showing you that um, the bottom of these sponge was cut from their root, which shows that there's sustainable harvesting taking place here on the island. Captain Green here is one of the many sponges here on this island. And uh, we are making these videos to create awareness to uh, the Bahamas and the world, to let them know that we have natural resources that Bahamians can tap into. And we are welcoming sponge merchants to come in and purchase this sponge. Captain Green, you wanna show a little bit more of your product? Yeah, See, you, can, you can look straight through the sponges and all of them are over five, six inches. So some is a bigger because I missed a couple uh, two years ago. But this is the average sponge on that bed right now. And the smaller ones I leave because they are three, four inches. So next two years, they'll be eight to 10 inches. But a lot of smaller ones there. So, so if you cut your sponges, don't care where you go, if you cut your sponges, you can go back two years later and harvest sponges. But if you pluck it from the bottom, you're killing the area. So folks, uh, again, this is sustainable sponge fishing. And we have many sponge fishermen here on the island that is getting into this industry. So we're coming to you from Shine's backyard. And the reason he has all these sponge laid out here in the backyard and don't get me wrong folks this is not the same shipment that he had two weeks ago this is the result of five days of sponge fishing and today is sales day captain green so you're going to be counting them benjamins yes i'll be counting some benjamins man so um, you want to tell us um how many pieces of sponge that you have here on the, on the ground Okay, there you have it, folks. Captain Green, uh, he's happy this morning because uh, he's uh, waiting. Uh, we have, what, two, three sponge merchants here on the island that comes in and purchase this product? Yeah, and folks, I will tell you, I have 95% number one, 95% number one, and the rest is number two. So if you feel these sponges, they bounce in, man, they bounce. I welcome you to come to Mangrove Key to uh, purchase some sponges and see for yourself. Yes. Mangrove Key is the place to be for sponges. Yes, folks, and for the record, uh, Captain Shine Arnold Green is also the owner and proprietor of Green's One Stop Conk Spot, where you can get your fresh conk salad, you can get your crack conk, crack lobster, crack grouper, and his motto is from the ocean to the fire to your plate it's seafood just don't get no fresher than that so we're welcoming you to come down to mangrove key and patronize and make yourself at home and be a part of what we have to offer any final words captain Grant? yes and folks anybody want to come down to uh see the process or want to come down and, 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 and go for for a dive you're welcome i can take you for a fee i'm not going to take you for free for a fee 
take you uh, so you can cut the sponge, string the sponge, put it on the line, and wait five days later, and this will be your result. And what do you think is um, if someone wants to come down to Mangrove Key and have the sponging experience, you're willing to take them out on the sponge bed and they can cut a few sponge and process it themselves and actually take the sponge back home with them or they can sell it to you and you can then sell it to your merchant. Right, yes. Okay, folks, from Shine's Backyard, we have another episode of sponge fishing in Mangrove Key. And today is sales day. So in about an hour or half hour, the merchant's going to show up and they're going to negotiate the price of these sponge. And Shine is going to be smiling all the way to the bank, folks. So have a nice day. And uh, we'll be back next time with another cut from sponging in Mangrove Key.